What's up guys, welcome to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. This time we're having a battle against my boy Advent from Discord. If you guys would like to battle me, hit me up on Discord or Twitter. Links are always in the description below, as well as all my moveset uh, information and stuff. That'll be down there too if you guys are curious. Um, so forgive my voice guys, I'm a little sick at the moment still. <laughs> but uh, looking at our teams, we are definitely having an RU tier match. So looking at Advent's team, he's got a pretty interesting looking team. He's got the Seismitoad, Gardevoir, Machoke. Vikavolt, Alolan Golem, and the Necrozma. So I thought he was running some kind of Trick Room team maybe at first glance, but look at my team. We've got the Manectric, Whimsicott, Scrafty, Alolan, Sandslash, Snorlax. Who the hell decided to let Snorlax be an RU? Holy shit, this thing's a monster down here. And finally the Nidoqueen, which Nidoqueen put in the most work today. Holy shit, when I was team testing this on Showdown, or this team on Showdown, oh my god, Nidoqueen did so much work. But anyway guys, this battle was fucking fantastic. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Alright, so the battle begins. I'm going to lead off with Manectric as Advent decides he's going to lead off with Glenn, the Seismitoad. So, I love <laughs> I love this nickname for Seismitoad. It's, it's hilarious. It, it looks like a Glenn. So I'm actually going to go straight for the Hidden Power Grass here on the first turn. Unfortunately for me, it doesn't actually kill, um, which I'm surprised. It was a four times super effective move from a Life Orb Manectric, but I guess that goes to show how bulky fucking Seismitoad is. So I was really nervous that he was going to go for Earthquake or Earth Power or something and just obliterate me, but thankfully he doesn't. He goes for the Sludge Wave there. I'm able to live that. He's going to swap here as I go for another Hidden Power Grass, which I'm happy I did because he's going to bring out the <laughs> Bud Slut, the Gardevoir. <laughs> His fucking nicknames are amazing. So he's going to trace my Lightning Rod. So had I gone for like the Volt Switch predicting the switch there, um, I would have given him a special attack boost, so I'm glad I didn't do that. So I'm going to get out of here now and uh, go into Conehead here because I can resist all of his attacks being a Steel type. Um, obviously not like Focus Blast or whatever if he carries that, but... Anyway, he goes for the Psy Shock here as it is resisted, and I'm just going to go for the... I think I predicted the switch. I didn't go for Iron Head. I went for the Icicle Crash as uh, he's going to bring in the Necrozma now, so I go for the Icicle Crash. Thank God I didn't miss, <laughs> and it does a pretty solid amount of damage to Necrozma. Necrozma is pretty damn bulky, and uh, I'm Choice Scarfed, so I was actually surprised at how much damage that did, but I'm, I will definitely take it. So I'm going to bring in Scrafty here as it's my, I guess, it's the mod on my team that I, I need the least. <laughs> so he's going to go for the Rock Polish on the Switch here, which honestly Scrafty doesn't mind. I go for the, uh, I almost said Rock Polish, I go for the Dragon Dance here. And uh, as he brings in the Choke, I kind of thought he would probably do that. But since I don't need Scrafty and I do have the knockoff, I wanted to go ahead and get rid of its uh, Eevee Light. And I wanted to do as much damage as possible because knockoff is resisted. So I go for knockoff here. At plus one, it does a decent amount. Does about like one fourth ish or so. Um, so he's gonna go for the close combat here. That is going to absolutely obliterate Scrafty here, which really sucks. I'm, I was pretty bummed. Scrafty is like my uh, favorite fifth gen mon. If anybody didn't know, so unfortunately I had to lose Scrafty there. But I'm gonna bring in Tits McGee here, the Nido Queen, and uh, I go for the Stealth Rock here. As I thought he would swap, but uh, he actually doesn't. I thought. Here, since he didn't swap, I thought he'd go for, like, knockoff or something to get rid of my, uh, my life orb, but he goes for the ice punch, which really sucks, um, as that does a ton of damage to Nido Queen. so he's gonna get the hell out of here, and he goes into Power Stone, which is the, uh, Alolan Golem here, rocking the, uh, the nice facial hair. <laughs> Dude, Alolan Golem and Alolan Diglett and Dugtrio, oh my god, they went all out, that shit is wild, the fucking hair. Oh my god. So I go for the Sludge Wave on the swap as he was actually holding the Air Balloon. So we're going to pop that. And uh, I know I outspeed him here because I'm max speed, modest nature. And Golem slow as shit. <laughs> so I'm going to go for the uh, Earth Power here. It's like quad effective. So that was honestly overkill on the Golem there. So he's going to bring out the Necrozma. And uh, I actually outspeed this as well. And with the Stealth Rocks damage, Sludge Wave is able to kill him. So. That is Necrozma down, and Nido Queen is out here putting out the most, <laughs> or doing the most. And uh, now he's going to bring in Butt Sluts here. So this is the point in the battle where shit gets really scary, because now he's going to trace my Sheer Force. So that means his Psychic, if he has it, 
and his moon blast are going to get powered up by the sheer force. <laughs> so that really, really sucks for me. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go back out into Conehead. And uh, look how much damage this resisted moon blast does because of the sheer force. Oh my god. So it is definitely a two hit KO here. And I'm actually choice scarf, guys, but he outspeeds me. So that lets me know that his Gardevoir is also choice scarfed. So unfortunately, Conehead here is going to go down. I was going for the Iron Head, but obviously he outsped me there. Really, really sucks. So I'm going to bring out 69% Cotton, my uh, my Whimsicott here with his little nipple on his back or whatever the hell that is. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go for the Z Memento here. And if anybody doesn't know what that does, it basically drops your opponent's attack and special attack by two stages. It kills you, but the next Mon you send in gets uh, back up to full health. So I'm going to use the Z Memento here to heal up my uh, Nido Queen because at this point in the battle, Nido Queen is definitely my win condition. <laughs> so down goes Whimsicott, but he gave his her she gave his life. Oh my god, she gave her life for a good cause here. So I'm gonna bring out Tits McGee here. I know that he's he's obviously uh, choice scarfed, so it's not like he's gonna go for the psychic attack here. So I'm gonna get back up to full, which is awesome. And uh, I don't expect him to stay in here because his Gardevoir is his win con. Um, so he's going to go out into Glen, and I go for the Sludge Wave that is obviously going to kill Glen <laughs> at that range of HP. And I believe at this point in the battle he has three mons left, and I think I have uh, no, I think it's three and three on three right now, if I'm not mistaken. So he's going to go back out into Butt Slut, and he's going to trace, unfortunately, trace my uh, Sheer Force here, and. Uh, I have to swap here because, like I said before, Nita Queen is my win con. So I'm gonna get out of here. I'm actually gonna sack off my Manectric here, as Manectric is not useful to me whatsoever. So down goes Manectric, and now it is three to two. Advent is in the lead currently, but I'm gonna bring out DJ Khaled here. My boy Snorlax is back, and uh, <laughs> I'm not rocking the uh, Assault Vest set this time. <laughs> I decided to uh, change it up a little bit. So he's going to swap, he goes into Butt Plug, oh my god, these uh, Advent, your nicknames are are amazing. <laughs> so I'm going to go for Body Slam, I decided it's probably not worth to try to set up with the uh, Curse, etc. So I'm going to just go for Repeated Body Slams as he's going to go for a T-Bolt here. Snorlax fucking eats that T-Bolt like it's nothing, that was a Life Orb T-Bolt from a Vicavolt. <laughs> Vicavolt has like base 145 special attack. That is nothing to sneeze at, and Snorlax just fucking ate that shit. <laughs> so I'm gonna get some lefties back as a body slam is able to kill the Vicavolt. His next mon is going to be John Cena. Now this is the <laughs> this is the play that either makes or breaks me. So I I predicted him to over predict, which is exactly what he does. So he doesn't go for the close combat here. He went for Ice Punch, predicting me to go out into the Nita Queen. I don't do that. I go for the body slam here. It was a very high risk reward play for me, but it worked out in the end because I do get the uh, Body Slam Parachance on the Machoke. I'm able to outspeed him here, I go for another Body Slam, and kill off the Machoke. So that play, I'm so glad it worked out. Now it is two on one, and unfortunately, Advent's Gardevoir can literally not touch Snorlax. So his last Mon is Butt Slut, and... Uh, I think he goes for Psy Shock here, but honestly, <laughs> Snorlax is way too damn bulky. <laughs> I love how <laughs> it traces my thick fat, so uh, Gardevoir is going to get thick on us real quick, and uh, he goes for the Psy Shock. Snorlax eats that like it's fucking nothing, delicious, and uh, I go for a Body Slam here that is going to kill off the Gardevoir, and that is game. Good game, Advent. That was a, <laughs> a really, really amazing battle. That one play with the Machoke really, really worked out for me and won me the game so we'll definitely battle again i love battling advent he always brings some really interesting stuff so anyway guys i'm gonna get out of here i love you peace out